Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how you can create a bootable thumb or flash drive to install Windows 11, 10, 8, or 7 clean. It's Windows. It's Microsoft. That means there's a few different ways to do it. This all depends whether you just want to get the job done or maybe you want to try something different and get the ISO on your drive. So let me show you the options quickly and then we'll show you what you can do with the ISO if that's your choice. The media creation tool right here. Look for the I up here or expand the video description to get to this page and follow the links as needed. Media creation tool for Microsoft. Click download now. And once you have it, you can see there's a video here or a tutorial as well to go with the video here. You basically just decide what you want to do. Choose your edition. Save as an ISO or your flash drive. Select your flash drive and wait. And when it's done, you're ready to boot off of your thumb drive. Doesn't get any easier than that. Now, if you want to try something different or play around, this is how you learn. You can use Fido. It's a PowerShell script. Really easy to use. Once again, big shocker, video. Age restricted for some reason. Just click watch on YouTube. Really easy to use. I like it. Microsoft Windows and Office ISO download tool. A little bit better if you're looking to get a version of Office instead of Windows and my three favorites depending on your web browser Google Chrome Firefox Edge so what you can do here you can actually trick this into there's your video pretending it's an iPad Pro and once you do that it actually lets you choose as you can see exactly what you want to download really one of the coolest ways to download the ISO you don't need any third-party programs and odds are you have one of these three browsers on your computer. So I love these three. If you're bored or you want to learn something, try it out. It's pretty neat. All right. So if media creation tool is not something you want to use, you have the ISO, you want to use one of two programs, Rufus or Ventoy. I know if I wrote the article and told you to use Ventoy, everybody would tell me to use Rufus. Because I use Rufus, everybody told me to use Ventoy. So you can please some of the people some of the time. But here we are. So, let's do it. Stick your flash drive in your USB port. Rufus is portable. Wherever you put it, it's going to save an INI file, which you can also delete when you're done, and just run it. That's up to you. And there you go. Now, one of the advantages of Rufus over maybe a Ventoy, well, Ventoy does the same thing. They have a lot of options. What happens with Ventoy is the options are kind of hidden. Let me show you. So when you're looking at it, you see this, but if you don't go up, I think it's over here, it's like a file or something like that, and there's a lot more options in there kind of hidden away, but it does kind of simplify it a little bit. As you can see, if you don't know the answer, download Rufus here, if you don't know the answer to any of these, you might just search for it. So let's find our image right here. Standard Windows installation, Windows to go. Now, and for the most part, it should detect everything the way you want. There's advanced drive properties here. But we should be good with GPT and UEFI because that's what it's detected. So once again, for the amount of time it takes, go ahead and just do it the way it sees it. Now, what you might also want to do is rename the thumb drive. You can see it kind of auto detects the name. So let's call it, I don't know, Windows 11, because that's what it is. Yeah, sure and maybe even the build number file system so again if one of these don't work you might have to try another one advanced format options and that's it click start there's your warning and now we wait while it does everything for you and this like again what I like about this is you can go and search to see if one of these is the problem why it doesn't boot and again Another good reason to use a media creation tool if you don't want to be bothered. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, the pictures, screenshots show everything that we're doing right now. Move over here. It takes a little while because we're, it's going to download the ISO file and burn it. I had an argument with somebody online who said it's not an ISO file. You just download media creation tool and you don't have to download the ISO. Well, it, it does download the ISO. You just didn't know it. it's in the background. It does the work for you. It's nice and neat. Puts a pretty picture on it. And there you go. So you can see the status going here. And when you're done, you're going to see this. Or something similar. Make sure you take note about how you may need to use the reboot 
For example, it says you got to disable Secure Boot to get it working. Different stuff like that. So if you ask me my opinion, media creation tool, easy, easy, easy. But if you want to play around, have fun, grab Rufus, grab Ventoy, give it a try. You never know. And there you have it. I'm not going to sit through all this because I had a screenshot to show you how it is. And we're over my five-minute time allotment I like to get to. But there you go. So as always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you click subscribe. Click a like if we helped you out. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. As always, we really appreciate you. See ya.